Hera and Hercules, in the vast pantheon of Greek mythology, few stories are as enduring and complex as that of Hera and Heracles, known to the Romans as Hercules. The tale of Hera's relentless pursuit of Heracles intertwines jealousy, vengeance, and ultimately, reluctant respect. Hera, the queen of the gods and wife of Zeus, was a deity of immense power and dignity. Known for her fierce loyalty and protective nature towards marriage and family, she could also be vengeful, particularly when it came to her husband's numerous affairs. Zeus's infidelity was a constant source of torment for Hera, and the birth of Heracles, a son of Zeus and the mortal woman Alcmene, was a particularly egregious betrayal. From the moment Heracles was born, Hera's animosity towards him was clear. She sent two serpents to kill the infant as he lay in his crib. However, even as a baby, Heracles displayed his divine strength by strangling the serpents with his bare hands. This early display of might only deepened Hera's resolve to make Heracles' life as difficult as possible. Hera's influence was evident throughout Heracles' life. Driven by her enmity, she instigated a series of trials and tribulations that would test Heracles' strength, endurance, and heroism to their limits. The most famous of these trials were the Twelve Labors, a series of seemingly impossible tasks that Heracles was compelled to undertake. The Twelve Labors were imposed upon Heracles as a penance after Hera drove him into a fit of madness during which he tragically killed his own wife and children. Seeking purification and redemption, Heracles turned to the oracle of Delphi, who instructed him to serve King Eurystheus of Turins for twelve years. Unbeknownst to Heracles, Eurystheus was under Hera's sway, and the tasks he devised were meant to ensure Heracles' failure and demise. Each labor was a monumental challenge, the first was to slay the Nemean lion, a beast whose hide was impervious to weapons. Heracles ultimately defeated the lion by strangling it, and then skinned it using its own claws. He wore the lion's skin as armor thereafter, a testament to his victory. The second labor required Heracles to slay the nine-headed Hydra of Lerna, a monstrous serpent that regrew two heads for each one that was severed. With the help of his nephew Iolaus, Heracles cauterized the necks after decapitation, preventing the heads from regenerating, and buried the immortal head under a massive rock. Among the other labors were capturing the golden hind of Artemis, a task that took Heracles a full year, capturing the Erymanthian boar, and cleaning the Augean stables in a single day, a feat he accomplished by rerouting two rivers through the stables. Despite Hera's efforts to sabotage him at every turn, Heracles completed all twelve labors. Each victory not only demonstrated his superhuman strength and cunning, but also his resilience against the divine animosity of Hera. Over time, these feats solidified Heracles' status as one of Greece's greatest heroes. Hera's relationship with Heracles was not solely antagonistic, though. In a curious twist, after Heracles' death, he was granted immortality and ascended to Mount Olympus. Hera, recognizing his greatness and perhaps wearied by their endless enmity, was reconciled with Heracles. In a symbolic act of acceptance, she gave Heracles her daughter Hebe, the goddess of youth, as his wife. This reconciliation marked the end of Hera's vendetta and the beginning of a new chapter in Heracles' existence. He was now a god, freed from Hera's persecution, and embraced by the very pantheon that had once sought his downfall. The story of Hera and Heracles is a rich tapestry of conflict and resolution, illustrating the complexities of divine relationships in Greek mythology. Hera's relentless persecution and eventual acceptance of Heracles Heil, the duality of her character as both a vengeful goddess 
and a figure capable of forgiveness. Heracles' journey, marked by suffering and triumph, ultimately led to his apotheoses and a place among the gods, forever enshrined in the mythological traditions of ancient Greece. Thank you for joining us on this epic journey. If you enjoyed Hera and Hercules' story, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more mythological adventures. Until next time, may friendship guide your path and courage light your way.